extraction blogging you saw in Kirk's uh, keynote yesterday. Um, but uh, you know. again, this is still in a prototype stage. Uh, it'll come pre bundled with the camera. So you pay for the camera, this <coughs> software will be free. So. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You can the apps and have one of those. What's in here? I do. Yeah. Breaking news. And you can record this real time, and then you can share it on social media instantly. Mm. So the whole app is built in. To do that in a very easy manner, you don't have to go so oh, record like this. And, yeah. <laughs> 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 so, and then you record this and then you post it straight away. So you don't have to, you know, go through like ten different applications to go do that. Sorry, uh, why is it a bit choppy? Does it oh. require some high computing power? Or? No, actually, this is that's why I said it's still in a prototype stage. Uh, oh. They're still optimizing it. What they did is get the core application working, and then they're trying to make sure that the the interfaces are working well. <coughs> Actually, what it's doing is uh, it's taking the background extracted piece. I mean, this piece of the technology. So you see, it's moving here. It's not that choppy at all. Um, so um, you know, so they're br bridging these two in two different apps. So they need to do that. Um, and uh, this is something that they're continuing to work. Right now, I would call that software still alpha. So it's clearly by the time it gets to the market, uh, it'll run at uh, 30 frames per second uh, in terms of uh, the. And this is, by the way, also in a lot of helping with us, um, is, uh, you know, we know how to use the hand to move. So, so you guys have played Portal 2? Anybody played Portal 2? Okay. Oh, not yet. <laughs> okay. So you can grab it and now see, push your hand out, turn, left, right. I mean, this is very a keyboard and mouse game. And imagine how complex. And then, you know, they would have this complex Hydra motion controller to do the six degrees of motion. Now you do it all with the hand. Um, and uh, basically you will fire portals, you will activate, you will know, fire a portal there. Now you have to push it through that hole. So imagine then that's where the dish is. You just reach in. And by the way, so we this is a good question. So we we've been doing uh, you know, user testing. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, the younger generations actually don't get tired at all. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, the same question I had, how do people type on a Blackberry? And then like, the next thing you know, I agree that people who can type faster than I can type on a keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I think people adapt. You know, uh, yeah, um, and this is good exercise too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like, I mean, the whole experience, like, you have to walk, you have to walk. That is uh, right now. Uh, this is what I said. It would be. Uh, so we'll show you some of the work. Yeah. So we'll going to do align, uh, or you can actually. So this is something we are experimenting uh, both with six and ten now. Um, you know, do I really? I we may keep both options. One is we give you the option to do the, the ASD uh, on WWS and yeah, ADS. Okay. Uh, or uh, you know, use your left hand to actually move forward right and use the right hand to do the view okay so there are me mechanics to engage we just have to make sure that it's the most natural um, and uh, in fact the game will have options in both um, 
and uh, we are trying to figure out from an experience standpoint do we keep the default just to you know, using gestures uh, or do we still keep that option for keyboards and okay, how people want to engage individually taste different. Uh, some people like to move fast and then just use this to control um, and versus some people just want to say hey I want to lean back and just play. So here you see like you know using speech to actually do some of the control of the game. So the concept here is that we rotate the 3D space to align the objects together. And this is actually one of the further out into the game. This game can take you easily to 3D space. Yeah. If, if you're good at it. 40 hours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, and it's fun. It, it walks you through learning every step. Okay, it starts with two pieces, simple things, um, and then you have to turn the perspective. It's like a 3D puzzle. You have to yeah. put them in the right perspective, then you see the alignment. And when you get aligned, then you got to join them. And to join them, you can either use the second finger to use a menu option to fuse it, or you can just hit fuse. Um, or you can do undo. It's cool. a standard human... Uh, yeah. so, so this whole thing is just the gestures. Another game is called Idle. Yeah. Um, okay, what we did as Intel was we were trying to enable a uh, kind of range of yeah, there's so many different game modes, right? You know, you know, first play, first play, first play, uh, uh, or you have uh, strategy games. Uh, so we're trying to get a uh, whole sense of you know different genres. Um, and uh, this one is like you know uh, really it's better so, you know, you have a little, you're a kid then you play a little on the beach, um, and we create castles or sand uh, shapes, right? So you create a mountain, you create a rain, you create, uh, you know, different uh, objects uh, in that sand castle. The gestures that we use in the game are in similar context, you know, you do this, you create a mountain, um, and, you know, you basically can create a volcano, you can create uh, lightning, meteor. Earthquake. Uh, you can flatten the land. Yeah, you can miss the earthquake here a couple of days. Yeah. So in this case, you move around by just tension. Like civilization of the ocean and different way. So if you want to, for example, level the ground, it's the same way as you would do in the sandbox. You just move your hand across and that the way yeah. right? you put your hands together to create a mountain. For a faster moving around the map, you can just go into the map overview by showing your hand straight in it and then use your hand as a mouse. To move. And so this is one of those examples where we put a lot of thought into how does the user it's interact. A rain. Do you have rain power? Um, I have brain powers, but I also have the power to do this. Okay, wait. You guys want to see the volcano, meteor, or earth? <laughs> and so you saw me. <laughs> 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 oh. If you want to create volcano, you just put your hands like this and go on. And that's how would you describe these actions if you were playing charades, right? The word game where you like you go here. Create some rain for them by just simply going <laughs> <on the road. laughs>